Hi, George here. And I want to show you the best background removal tool I have personally ever used. And if you rely on Photoshop Elements or maybe Affinity Photo, for doing background removal for a job, small business, or possibly a side hustle, then you know how important it is to get a real clean background removal. And on some images, like this one here, Photoshop Elements and also Affinity Photo just can't handle this image. Let me just show you that real fast here. I did a select subject on this and then did a lot of cleanup with the Refine Edge tool. And the best I could get was this. We lost the shoulder down here. And there's a lot of the background showing up here inside the hair. I couldn't get that cleaned out no matter what I tried. It's a bit better down here, but it's still missing a lot. As you can see here, we lost a lot of hair right over here. That all just disappeared. And again, this is the best I could do in Photoshop Elements with this particular picture. This is the most difficult case picture I have. So it's a really hard test, but this can be done perfectly. And I'll show you how in just a minute. But first, let's also see how this looks over in Affinity Photo 2. Here we go. We're inside of Affinity Photo 2. Same project, same technique. I used subject select, and then I did a lot of refine on the edges and better than we had over in Photoshop Elements, but still we have a lot of background showing through this hair. So it's still not a good background removal. Let me now show you a tool which can do perfect background removal. It's an online tool. Let's switch over to that right now. And this right here is called remove.bg and does phenomenal background removals. So let's just scroll down for a bit here. We have some samples right down here. Real nice, real clean. It's just a product shop, but there are more. Look at people. Real nice background on that hair. That's the problem we have right there. It's real thin stuff on the hair. Animals, really nice on the fur, as you can see. Of course, cars are easy anyway, no big deal there. And graphics are pretty easy, no big deal here, but great on hair and also on fur, and that's what matters. And aside from that, it's also amazingly fast. Let's see how this works. I'll just upload our sample image right here, and I have it right there. Choose Open. Now, I'm not doing any speeding up on this or anything. I'm just letting it work at its own speed, and there it's done. I didn't even finish a couple of sentences, and it finished that. Now, this is a low resolution for the screen here, but you get a high resolution when you download this. And there are more options over here. You can change the background if you want to. Lots of background options in here. Let's just come down. We'll find something interesting on this one. Maybe this one with the palm trees. There we go. Not a great one, I think. Let's try something else in here. Maybe this cityscape right here. There we go. That's pretty good or this beach scene, that's not too bad. You also can change to a solid color. Maybe you need to have a green screen to use on a video project or something. You can do that as well, that easy. We have undo and redo buttons right down here. And also the control Z keyboard shortcut works just the same. I'll just back it up like that. There are options in here to erase and restore. And if you use the magic brush, it's a real nice clean job, but we don't need that on this one. This is looking just absolutely perfect. You can come in here and blur a background down if you want to. And you can add a shadow. There was a shadow added onto that handbag that we saw. And there was a shadow added onto that car. So you can add in shadows. Blur is nice for just blurring out the background just a little bit. Make it a bit more realistic looking. And here, you can take this over into Canva. And then use all of Canva's tools as well to do whatever you want with this thing. All of their great design tools over there in Canva. But we'll stay here inside of Remove BG. Click on this button right here. Click and hold. And you can see the before. Let go, here's the after. If you look at that, it does a phenomenal job, including the background right back in here that it didn't find any program that spotted that one. This is the only one that managed to get that little bit of background out right there. So again, absolutely phenomenal. Now for free, you can get five downloads a month in low resolution. They're good enough for the internet. If you want a higher resolution, you can get one as a test. Otherwise, you'll have to pay for this, but it's actually very, very cheap. Look at that in just a second. One thing I did want to point out before we get to the pricing, though, is the tools and API in here. This does work as plugins on a lot of programs. Unfortunately, it does not work as a plugin in Photoshop Elements or in Affinity Photo, but it does work as a plugin in Photoshop, and it works phenomenal over there. Also, interestingly enough, it does work as a plugin on GIMP right down here. GIMP has a real problem with removing backgrounds. This solves that GIMP problem. It does a lot more things here, Shopify, Google Drive, Gmail, Figma plugin, lots of additional automation tools in here. So it's a great background removal tool if you want to automate this as part of a business, small business, or side hustle. Okay, let's take a look at the pricing in here. And as I said, it's actually very good pricing. If you don't do that many, if you're doing this as a small business, you're not doing that many, maybe the 40 credits a month. Now, one credit means one background removal. So figure 40 removals a month. That's 810. That works out to be about 20 cents per removal. 
If you do a lot more, you can get 200 a month here for 35 and you can get much larger volumes in here. Each one of the removals is a lot less expensive per removal. Now, what I do, I don't need this that often. Most of the time, I'm just fine with what's in Photoshop Elements or in Affinity Photo. Sometimes, though, I need a special background remove that those programs just can't handle or Photoshop just can't handle. Then I'll go over here and I'll use this Pay As You Go option. For three credits, that's only $3. Easy enough. If you go up here to 10 credits, then that's just $9 savings in there. 75 credits is about half that much. So as you go up and buy more credits, the amount per removal comes way down dramatically. But this is really the easiest way to go if you don't use it on a very high volume, even at just three credits at a time. For an important picture, spending a dollar to get that background removed perfectly and in just a moment, it's well worth that cost. Okay, let's now see how this works on the download. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account right here so I can get that with the credits I already have. And there we go, we're signed in. Go back over here to uploads, click on download. So the preview is at 613 by 407. That's your free preview. And the max here, this is the full size of that image. And that costs one credit. Right now I have three credits in here, so we're fine on that. I'll click on one credit. And let's look at here in my projects folder. It's just a folder I made on my computer. I named it projects. I'll choose save. We'll save that. Let's now go over and see what this looks like inside of Photoshop Elements. Okay, let's open that up. File open. Here's my projects folder. That's the one that we want. Choose open. Notice it comes in as a PNG file. And there we go. Absolutely perfect background removal. Look at that. Just phenomenal. I can't get anywhere near this inside of Photoshop Elements with the regular built-in tools. So really the best way to remove a background if it's a difficult background. If it's an easy background, like a car or something, you can do that right here in Photoshop Elements. But a difficult background, especially with hair or with fur, and even more so with this kind of flyaway hair, this really is the best way to go on that. So here we go, Remove BG. And again, this is the best background removing tool that I have found. I don't get paid anything for doing this. I'm not an affiliate, nothing like that. I just really like this tool. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'm doing new videos all the time, and I'll see you next time.